Hey guys, welcome to Cars and Coffee here in Lafayette, Colorado. And uh, I thought I'd give you a little selfie stick walk around with what's here. So this is gonna be a one take deal. I'm not gonna edit this very much. And the cool thing about Cars and Coffee is that there's all sorts of different vehicles, including, check this out, behind me. That's a Colorado company, they're called Earth Roamer, and what they do is they build these crazy expedition vehicles, overland vehicles. You can see it right there. You can go all the way around the world off-road, or that's the thought about it. Uh, Ford F550. Yeah. Uh, we get them straight from Omera Ford in right. uh, Thornton. Yep. And we go through, we put the Kelderman Air Ride suspension on it. Nice. Uh, we'll go, it has five solar panels, no, no generator, which is a nice plus about it. Yep. There's no uh, propane, so it's designed to live off the grid. It's a one piece shell which sets us apart from all the other uh, off road campers um, just because we, we don't screw and glue 10 pieces of uh, steel together and yep. make it. Um, I mean, there's just there's so much about it. Uh, yeah, look, what's the ground clearance? Uh, ground clearance is adjustable, which is nice. With the air ride suspension, you can actually get about 10 from the bottom of the diff to uh, to the ground. It's about seven to eight inches, um, but from on level three at the highest point, it's almost uh, 25. 25 yeah, it looks like it could yeah. go over anything. I think yeah. it's got the power stroke. Yep. Yes, yeah. it does six seven. Yeah, nice. So the newest one, I take it. This yeah. is the newest. Yeah. Yep. yep. So what's the inside like? Can I take uh, a walk yeah. inside? Well, yeah. welcome to go inside. Let's That's take a walk the, inside there. So you can walk around. Wow, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So you've got you got a full kitchen over here. Full kitchen. Yep. We have uh, induction cooktop. Uh, so there's no no diesel cooktop. It it's uh, a lot more efficient than a regular cooktop. Yeah. Um, we've got it's got the wine storage. Yeah. Stainless steel appliances. It's got an S bar air heater in it. So it. Uh, just super efficient heater. Look at this control yeah. panel, oh my god. Yep, yep, it is all marine grade electronics. Uh, we do have uh, five solar, like I was saying, five solar panels on the roof, um, yeah. so it'll put out on a good day 90 amps of power, charging power. Um, and you don't need to use the, uh, the heater. You've got uh, Keurig behind here, you've got the pull, uh, fold out uh, tables, you've got the wow. power, power couches. Got a the full entertainment system. Full entertainment Bose, Bose system, yeah. which is really nice. Uh, you got the subwoofer, which is underneath the uh, it's got a lot of room. Underneath the it does, it does. We try to incorporate every single square inch into uh, storage. You're just using it, just... Uh, so how do all these cabinets, I mean, this is fine carpentry mm -hmm. here, yep, how do we, all this stuff survive if you take it off-road? Uh, it survived mm -hmm. it really, really, really well. Yeah. Uh, we've got about 140 trucks on the road, and so far we don't have any, any failures as far as the uh, cabinets falling off the walls or anything, because that is, uh, the one-piece shell is about one inch thick. It's got yep. a quarter-inch fiberglass on the inside and the outside uh, with end grain balsa wood in the middle of it. So it's super well insulated, it's super strong, there's no additional supports on the front of the truck for the camper or wow. for the cab um, for the bunk it uh, yeah so it holds up really well they're all screwed and we use I uh, we call it Izzer it's just like a really high quality really strong um, kind of like a silicone just a big strong glue essentially that, did but, I read uh, recently that John Mayer got one of these yes yeah, yeah he did yeah, yeah. he, he uh, so. came yeah. down and bought one his was actually a pretty cool truck yeah yep. we uh, had a lot of fun building that one Let's see the bathroom. Let's check that yeah, out. Yeah, of course. Out. It comes in two different options. You yeah. can get a wet bath and a dry bath. This right. one's going to be the wet bath. Um, it does have a five gallon cassette, which is a good plus. Um, not a lot of people like, I personally don't even like draining black tanks because then you've got to locate right. somewhere. I like just a dump station. That's yeah, you got to go to a KOA or something. Yep. And yeah. it's sometimes it's just hard to find. Whereas with the cassette, you just pull it out, you take it into uh, just any bathroom at any rest stop, and you just dump it in the trash and up it in the toilet. <laughs> that's right. Oh, yeah, that, that would be quite but, the surprise yeah. for the yeah. restaurant <laughs> owner. <laughs> yep. It's got all LED lighting throughout we've got overhead lighting we've got uh, tow kick lighting uh, power couches so these the two couches do fold out into one into a bed yeah and then you do have the uh, the bed up on the uh, bunk does come in a couple different sizes you can how many will it sleep so it'll sleep four here and four uh, there so it's designed to sleep four comfortably oh yes. two here two there yeah yep, two. I guess four are very short people yeah yeah exactly <laughs> they uh, it's ideally it's designed for uh, you know husband, wife, and two kids. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, we do have a lot of people, just husband and wife, that actually live out of them. We've had a couple people sell their houses to just go live out of them. I mean, it's got a 100-gallon water tank, 100-gallon uh, fuel tank, so, I mean, you can go 1,000 miles on a single tank of gas so, straight from here to so California. How, how much is this bad boy? Uh, this one, this particular model, is about 475000 So, yeah, it's... 
You get a lot, but you pay a lot. You do, exactly. Yeah, we go, can we all... go in the front? Let's see what's yeah, on the course. Did you do anything to that, or is that pretty uh, much stock Ford? Oh, no, there's, we've definitely, the only thing that we leave stock is yeah. the, uh, the drivetrain, essentially. All right. The transmission and the engine. All right. Um, it's got power boards, power running boards, so nice. the door of those come out. Oh, you're right, look at that. Yep, we've got aftermarket center console. Yeah. Um, with uh, AccuAir, air ride controller on it. Uh, there we got a blue sea systems monitor up front too so you can actually monitor all the, the water levels you can monitor the battery voltages uh, so you got your fresh and your gray water levels um, it's got the it's got the transfer flow fuel pump because we have an auxiliary fuel tank which is 50 gallons on top of the factory Ford uh, 40 gallon tank um, so the transfer flow actually will monitor the level of the factory Ford one so as it gets lower the transfer flow will just pump extra into the factory Ford because that's where the engine sucks the fluid from now do you build just Diesel. on, on uh, Ford heavy duties because I remember I've seen some on Jeep bodies uh, we did yeah. for uh, about a year we made I think it was like 13 of the uh, uh, XV JPs, yeah. which was just based on the four door Jeep Rubicon. Yep, we built, uh, I think, yeah, like I said, I think we built 13 of them. It's basically the exact same thing as this. Yeah. Uh, we just it had the fold out top, exterior door locks. I was wondering uh, about that, yep. yeah. Yep, a lot of people, because uh, a lot of people will buy these and then ship them across the uh, across the ocean, put them on container ships. <laughs> look and at stuff these, like look that. at these tires and wheels. Oh my god. Yep, 41 inch Continental MPT 81s uh, with Hutchinson bead locks. And there's the air ride right here. Yep. You can yep. see the. Yep. You can yep. see the, the full suspension. Air ride suspension. Yeah. You got four airbags in the back, two airbags in the front. It's got high heavy duty King off road shocks. You can get uh, a lot of different options for the uh, front uh, fog how, lights. How many pounds? Uh, the yeah. front one I think is a 16.5. Yep, front one's a 16.5. Oh, look at the horns too. Check that yep, out. It's got air horns. <laughs> it has a five gallon uh, onboard air. It's got a five gallon tank with an yep. onboard air compressor. Uh, night vision, which is another plus about it. Not for any real reason, it's just kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, powerful lights. Yeah, have, LEDs, they're have, all, yep, those are LEDs a, and HIDs. Do you have a um, jack in the back as well? Uh, jack? No, uh, no, not jack, I mean a, a winch. A winch, yes we do. Yep, there's yeah. a rear winch, yeah. you can walk back there. Um, so we've just got the, we've got the front tank, the rear tank, the DEF fluid, the cassette, and then you've got the, the rear outdoor kitchen storage boxes here. But uh, those open up to more storage in the back. Wow! And we do have we do have the rear winch here. Yeah. Uh, I think this is only a ten thousand pound winch, but with a couple snatch blocks, it could be a twenty thousand pound winch pretty so, easily. So last question: oh, you get the spare tire too? Yep. With the winch, yep, we've got the winch, a uh, little twenty two thousand pound, yeah, two thousand pound uh, ATV winch to help get the spare tire down because there's a couple pieces that you put in these extra uh, hitches to help get it down because obviously it's not going to lift a right. two hundred pound tire. All right. Last question: yeah. What kind of fuel economy? <laughs> 10 miles a gallon, that's probably the most common question. It's uh, 10 miles a gallon. I just drove it back from Phoenix and yeah. we were averaging 10 miles a gallon. I got it up to 13 in a couple points, but it doesn't last very long. And what was your name? Uh, my name's Nick. Nick, what's your last name? Anderson. Anderson, Nick, thank you very much. I appreciate the, the tour of the uh, Earth Roamer. What's the model? Uh, this one's the F L uh, This is the uh, XV LTS. We have an XV LT and an XV LT SS. The SS is two feet longer than this and the LT is two feet shorter. Cool. We will be unveiling a uh, HD pretty soon. Yeah. Which is going to be based off the X X uh, the F650 chassis. So, a so it's bigger. going to be a lot bigger. It's going to be about 10 feet longer, about a foot higher, foot wider. It's going to be uh, competing with the big motorhomes. Well, you so. can t you can tell that the economy is booming again because yeah. this is certainly <laughs> yeah, we're a year and a half behind on back orders. This, so, is, yeah. this is certainly not the kind of thing you would buy with uh, no disposable income. Thank you very no, much. Appreciate it. Of course. Thanks. Anytime. Oh, this back door is just extra storage. 